What's up everyone, it's your boy. Today's video, I'm gonna talk about a deck that no one talks about because it's boring to everyone, but it ain't boring to me, baby. And that is Pure Elich that actually destroys every one of the top five most played decks. It can't destroy Pendulum, but it destroys the most played decks by playing not normal Elich, but a special way to play Elich. Then you guys are gonna have to stay tuned to the whole video to figure out. If you guys are ready for this video, make sure to smash the subscribe button. If you guys do the channel, don't forget that we also now do Pendulum Coaching, baby! We're not just Pendulums! Also, I let us go! I let second best deck, let's go! Also, if you guys want to support the channel, check out TripGaming.com. You guys can get beautiful $30 cloth bags. And if you guys want all your Yu-Gi-Oh cards, you get all your discounts in the description. So if you guys are ready for this video, smash the subscribe button! Let's go, baby! Alex, I... <laughs> Man, who would have thought that pure Eldritch with a bunch of trap board wipes would be so powerful? So, I'm going to showcase you guys right now just an average hand. Look at this hand. Going first, you already know this wins, right? But what about going second? So, before you turn off the video and think, Triff, what are you doing playing a trap deck? I want you guys to think about this right here. So, you draw, you're going first, you win. Definitely. You definitely, 100%. The idea behind this deck is if you draw one of your Eldritch combo card, one Eldritch card, just one, one Eldritch card, in turn, in turn three, turns into like 10 Eldritch cards because they turn it, one Eldritch card turns into two. So you, now you're going second, okay? What about going second? Look at this hand here. Think about this hand, okay? You're playing any single deck in Yu-Gi-Oh going second. Every trap in this deck is a go second trap. Every trap in this deck is a go second trap. They're not solemn judgments that are only good going first. They're not flood, like, floodgates like Imperial Order that are only good going first. They're floodgates like goes and match that break boards. They are cards like Needle Ceiling that break boards. Cards like Solemn Strike, where if you were to chain, I would like to use Savage Dragon on your goes and match. You Solemn Strike them and watch them cry. So the idea behind it is you play a bunch of traps that, that trade off your trap for like three cards in the field. So each trap is like a plus two, essentially. All of them are like the every trap in the deck. Ice Dragon Prison is just too good not to play this format. So Ice Dragon Prison is the only one that's not a plus two. It's actually a plus one because it will get rid of a card in the, Okay, everyone's a plus one. That's, that's a better way to put it. So now let's say your opponent is playing Dragon Link. You just set five cards. They bounce one card or something, whatever. Okay, on your turn, you needle sealing them and then you strike them after they uh, commit to something. GG. Uh, my turn now. Uh, Quisador first? Okay, thank you. Alright, my turn. Draw. Okay, great. Okay. Uh, set two. Put this at the Link Spider. I just cleared his entire board, and I already have set five again. You One card, one conk, just turn into two cards, right? His turn now. Go ahead, sir. Strike, Ice Dragon Prison. You Ice Dragon Prison one card. Let him put up the negate first. Then when they negate the Ice Dragon Prison, you strike his card. So strike and prison, now exchange off for three cards that you cannot respond to because of strike. Now it's your turn. Again, I have duels with this, by the way, on my Patreon. So if you guys want to see actual duels of how this goes down, check out my Patreon. I'm just showcasing you guys the idea behind the deck and how one card turns into four for El Lich. So next, you're going to put these into Nightmare Phoenix. Just, I want you guys to look at this. Use Lord's Effect. Look at this again. Now it's turn three. Your one conquistador just turned into more cards. Now, what's your opponent? You already stopped them from playing completely. You have a Golden Lord and a Hakuero Conquistador goes in match, Dogmatic Punishment, after your opponent opened full Dragon Link combo, full Infernoble combo, even Infernoble. What are they gonna do? Get rid of your goes in match, no problem. Needle Sealing Strike, what are they gonna do? Get rid of Needle Sealing, no problem. Goes in match, Strike. Like there's, Smoke Grenade doesn't do shit either. That's a huge, like, this deck's absolutely so fun to play, and I think it's the only way to play pure Eldritch. What, like, how could you play against this? You just play traps that, that trade off for two or three cards, and you play the Eldritch engine that one card turns into four. Now I'm going to showcase you guys the deck profile. I'm super passionate about this deck, because I think it is the only way to play pure Eldritch, or any Eldritch for that matter. It is absolutely amazing. Look at this, look at this. If you make me go first, you auto lose thanks to trap cards. If you make me go second, you still auto lose. Because name me one trap card here that doesn't change off 
for two or three cards. One, two or three cards. Ice Dragon Prison is the only one, but it gets rid of uh, it gets rid of Dragoon, so it's just mandatory. So you now have six ways to get rid of Dragoon because of these three and three Trap Trick. So these three can get rid of Dragoon, uh, anyways. So that that's that for this. Now you might think, okay, okay, Triff, but what about Control Decks? How do you beat Control Decks? Well. What has Elich ever lost to any control deck in history? Like, pure Elich absolutely shits on every control deck. You think Altergeist is, is a better engine than Elich? Hell no. What are they going to do? Bounce my Conquistador so I can set it again next turn? What? the? Alt this deck destroys every control deck. So just because you play cards like Torrential that aren't necessarily good against Altergeist or random control decks, you still play Elich. Ella just inherently destroys them. And then post side deck, you put in triple storm duster, because it's searchable by trap trick, and triple cosmic and double evenly, which is searchable by trap trick, to destroy control decks even further. And then you like there's no more space in here to even put more cards that destroy combo. You're already playing infinity ways to destroy combo decks. Uh, you can also put in triple sphere mode to make it even worse. There's no even there's not even space for lava golem. I want lava golem. Why? Put in 30 cards for combo when your main deck destroys it. So anyways, that's the idea. Uh, in terms of the LH engine, we play double lord, triple LN, triple extravagance. By the way, if you're going if you're going second against a combo deck, you do not activate LN or extravagance. Do not make them negate it. You'll lose a card for nothing. Save it in your hand. Set five cards. Destroy the opponent's negates and then activate it on your turn. Uh, you play one block weakening. This is, at the end of the day, a pure LH deck. Hard drawing this is fine. If your opponent ashes this or, or counter trap or negates it, you literally just don't care whatsoever. And it's okay just to have another elixir. It's good to have one other elixir in your deck. It's good. In a version like this, where you play 22 trap cards, they all trade off for more than one card for two or three. Anyways, three Scarlet, three Conk, three Hawk. Post side deck, I take a one Black Awakening uh, against combo decks. I take a one Black Awakening, one Hakuero. And one of the random spell cards, I'll probably take out an extravagance or something, or, or an L land, because I know that I cannot activate it going second. So I, you don't want to open these five cards going second. Uh, if you go, play five, hopefully you only draw one, and then you just save the one. If you see, draw two, that's fine, because four traps will still kill your opponent. But you don't want to, against combo, you don't want to open these spell cards, because they're going to, you want to just focus on breaking the board. After you break the board, you're good. After you break the board, your L -Lich cards will lead you to victory. But... These aren't like they're unsearchable. They're not searchable. You're not guaranteed to search it, and you can't activate it going second because you're just gonna negate it, and you have no other play after after they negate it. You pass your turn. So, anyways, so post side deck, you take out one Black Awakening, one Hakuero, maybe one Chris Elan for your triple Sphere mode. Okay. Uh, anyways, uh, now you got triple Strike, triple Torrential, triple Needle Scene, triple Punishment, triple Prison, triple Trap Trick, triple Goes in and Skill Drain. All these four floodgates break boards. Uh, another card you can put in is Witch's Strike, except I feel that this deck absolutely obliterates combo, and there's no more space. Uh, in retrospect, you could actually, it's gonna sound insane, but you could take out, you could put in three more Lava Golems, or three more Witch's Strikes, and against combo, you'll take out all these spell cards. Because, or like, one Hawk, one Black Awakening, like, two Extravagance, two Elan. I know it sounds crazy, but you do not want to open, if you, you do not want to open two of these six spell cards. You, you can opening one is the best, going second, because you save it as your sixth card for next turn, but you do not, under any means, want to open two, because then you might not be able to break the boards. Anyways, uh, side deck, triple sphere, I already talked about the side deck. You also, the biggest issue with this deck is Lightning, Storm, and Feather, Duster, and Red Reboot. Those five are the biggest issue with this deck. Cosmic Cyclone doesn't do jack shit, doesn't matter, because you have so many traps that just destroy everything. Hence, you play Imperial Order and Triple Solemn going first, just to ensure that they cannot Lightning Storm or Feather Duster you. It's also not bad to play even uh, Anti-Spell, but the issue with Anti-Spell is that then they'll just Lightning Storm you next turn, or Feather Duster you next turn. So Solid Judgment is just inherently better, but it does, it is an absolute uh, blow up. So you could also side in two more Anti-Spells for evenly match if you really want to, because that card, is, it is blow up card. Now for the Punishment, you play Double Nittes and a uh, uh, Fossil Knight. You play Double Pleiades, Gustav, uh, Juggernaut, BLS link, which is really important. So you play two BLS links. This deck does have a problem outing Dragoon. This card uh, deals with Dragoon very nicely. Double link spider. Uh, it's also very important because you're playing control. You want to make sure that the extravagant doesn't banish this. Uh, and I think link spider is better than uh, uh, better than uh, the world chalice 800 attack guy. 
because Lady Spider you could use over a Dino, to a Dino token from Lost World, so it feels good. Uh, Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Cerberus, and then you play one Macabre, one Nova, just to make the Dramatica uh, deck even uh, more of a buy. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This deck is so much fun to play on Rated. I have a bunch of duels with it. I just destroy them, so check, it out, check them out. They're all on Patreon. If you guys want to uh, get access to uh, exclusive, just for a little limited time, okay, uh, Pendulum Training, Coaching, Buy Me, One-on-One -on -one Coaching, I now offer it on PayPal down below, $30 for two hours, one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching on Discord with whatever deck you like, preferably Pendulum's because Pen Best deck. Also, if you guys want to take advantage, for a limited time only also, I have links down below on discounts for Yu-Gi-Oh cards and for uh, mats, so go check it out. And lastly, if you guys want $30 play mats, a uh, cloth play mats on the website, dreamgaming.com, make sure to check it out while they last. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And Lich, second best deck? Let's go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Pen best deck. Peace! <laughs>